Hello everyone. I'm here with my second episode of Crafting with Chris. And today I'm going to show you how I blend my Copic markers. I, uh, I have been making Prima Doll tags for um, over a year now and I was never able to get the blending down right. Most of the time I just used one color of Copic marker because I, I otherwise it just kind of looked kind of gaudy. But um, during this last year, I found the uh, the blending trio uh, Copic markers, and I picked up several packages of these. I picked up um, a red package and uh, a brown and yellow package, a blue package, a green one, and uh, tried using those, a, a pink package, and a purple package, and a yellow package. So anyway, um, I tried, like, doing flowers and blending the flowers and stuff and and I just loved them I mean they just to me they came out perfect the first time and and it was just beautiful well this one package here and it doesn't have a name um, of what the package is but the numbers are E99, E97 and E95 and to me, that worked out well for the um, flesh color of the uh, Prima Dolls. So that's the, the set that I'm going to be using today. And I really don't think that my talent improved all that much. It was having the right product that improved all that much. And... Uh, I also switched from archival ink for stamping the dolls to the stays on ink for stamping the dolls. The archival ink has a tendency to bleed a little bit um, with the ink, with the Copic markers. So I didn't want to use that anymore because you could see that it was bleeding a little bit. The doll that I've chosen to use is this doll here, and she is Mindy. And uh, I'm going to be making these for um, tag swap with mini album scraps. And this is the uh, the stamp stamper that I use to stamp my Prima Doll tags because they're too big for any other stampers that I have. And I found this, um, I believe I found it at Michael's, I'm not sure. Um, and it works out just really well when you put it down and you, I don't want to take a chance that anything's going to stamp here. When you put it down and you just press straight down on it, and then I just kind of run my fingers down the stamp, and that makes a perfect stamp. So these are the three stamps that I did, and I'm not worried about the fact that I missed the corner of this dress here, because I'm going to be piecing that. So that's not going to be a problem. But what I thought I would do is show you... Um, how I blend them with the blending markers. It suggests that you use or you do just a very small area at a time. Uh, the fresher the marker is, the better that it blends. So first of all, you take the lightest marker, which is E95,
and I'm not concerned if I go out of the lines, and I'm not concerned if I go over part of the uh, uh, doll that's going to be paper uh, pieced, because as I said, it's going to be cut out and it's going to be paper pieced. So you color in one section with the lightest marker. Then you go to the darkest marker, which is E99, and you decide where your light's going to come from. And my light's going to come in this way. So I just put a very thin line right along the edge of that side of her leg. Doesn't have to be real straight and even. Then you take the medium marker, which is E97, and you do another thin line over the dark one and next to it a little bit. Then you go back to your lightest marker and you go over the whole thing again. And you go, you just kind of work around with it and uh, blending all the colors together. And it comes out looking like that. Now, I'm not saying that I'm good at this. I'm saying that I'm better at this. And uh, I don't know if, if anybody else can benefit from what I show you. But hopefully... It'll be of some help to some of you. You can use any three markers, supposedly. That's the lightest one. Videotaping. He always walks in the door whistling or singing. Or, and then the darkest one, right along the edge. So that it looks like that. The medium one. Over top of the dark one. And next to it. And so now it looks like that. And then back with the lightest one again and blending, going over the whole surface again. Now, they show in some videos where you can get even lighter than your lightest marker. And they do that by simply not going over the light part with the light marker a second time. I haven't wanted to try that yet. That's a little uh, little scary to me to uh, make it come out right so that it doesn't look like she's got a big old blotch on her face. But after you've done it for a while, I'm sure you can figure out how to do the blending it so well. Okay. 
Now, I once the more it dries, the less you can see of the uh, the blending that you've done, and it just kind of all looks like the same color, except you can see that there's a shadow on it. This 97 and 99 are so close together, I have to look at the numbers every time. I think somebody else is about to walk in the front door, too. And maybe you can notice that this part here is darker than her legs. That's because this is dry and this isn't. When it dries up, it does get a slight bit lighter. I'll try and show you what I mean about even a lighter light with her face here. But if it doesn't work out, I'm going to have to go over it again. All right, now, can you see right in here, um, it's lighter than the rest of it because that's the part that I didn't put this on. So if I go over it with the light very carefully, now there's a small section in the middle that I didn't use the lighter on a, a second time. And I hope you can see that it is a tad bit lighter than the rest of her face. Um, so that's how you can actually get even more color. I'm going to go over it because to me, it looks like she's just got a spot I missed. <laughs> So that's how I blend my Copic markers for the skin of the Prima Dolls. Um, and like I said, to me, it was using the right colors. Because if you don't get the right colors of color of blends, um, you will see that dark line next to the edge of her leg or whatever. Whereas if you use the, the right colors, then it, it does all just blend together. Um, there are, as you've seen, three colors in, on her legs there that are dry now. But you really can't see three colors on her leg. But you can see that one side of her leg is appears to be more in the shadows than the other side of her leg. So I hope this was of help to some of you. Um, and uh, I, I know it was of help to me. So uh, I'll leave you with that. <laughs> And everybody have a wonderful day and be crafty. And I hope your shading um, improves like mine did. Thank you very much. Goodbye.